Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. I'm your host, Annie Bowles, and this is News Du Jour. Welcome to News Du Jour. You may be wondering, why am I, Annie Bowles, here hosting this podcast? I usually start by telling people I'm a political baby. You see, my parents met working on Capitol Hill. By the time I was two, I had been in my first political commercial and even got lost crawling around the West Wing. Don't worry, Al Gore found me. My family then moved abroad when I was nine, and I attended an international school in Brussels with kids from all over the world, and it is this type of global perspective that I also bring to our show. I graduated from American University in D.C. after studying political science and art history, as well as interning on both sides of Capitol Hill. I even interned down the hall from where my parents met. I'm now pursuing a professional certificate in journalism at NYU in conjunction with Rolling Stone magazine. I guess I was always that friend in the group who cared deeply about not just what was going on politically, but also globally. I often kept my own friends informed through high school and into young adulthood, so I guess I've always done a version of this show. I'm genuinely passionate about following the news, and I'm here to break it down for you guys every weekday. We always strive to be a calmer space to get your news, or as one listener put it, like getting your news from a well-informed bestie. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, our little bill was voted in at 45 to 0 in the Senate. It was literally unanimous, you guys, in Oklahoma. I wanted to take a second here at the top of the episode to dive into what exactly is going on with the bill so that you guys have a closer look at how legislation happens. But first and foremost, I have to thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who made a phone call, everyone who posted their support online, everyone who shared April's episode. Episode, we got this done together. And now the bill will head to the House Committee for a hearing. So you guys might be wondering what exactly goes on in a committee hearing. Well, essentially, it is where the ins and outs of a bill will be discussed and basically examined on a closer level. It's a chance for lawmakers to ask questions, make changes, and ultimately decide on how exactly a bill will be worded. Because even like one word change can have huge ramifications in a court of law. They're basically kicking the tires in committee, so to speak. They're thinking it all the way through and making sure the language is perfect. And then they take a vote to pass it out of committee and send it to the floor or they will vote not to do so. It can go either way. And honestly, you guys, bills can be tied up in committee for quite some time. And it's where a lot of bills die. And that is all depending on how the lawmakers are feeling about the bill and its specific language. To give you guys a little background on the history of this specific piece of legislation, the original iteration of this bill was actually gutted in Senate committee meaning they took out a lot of the most impactful pieces of the bill in committee. Most importantly, they took out what's called retroactivity. Retroactivity means that the law would apply to previous cases that have already gone through the court system. Appleseed, the group that I'm partnering with on this bill, they walked. 
They wanted a bill that would make things fair for everyone. So they reintroduced the bill with new authors, and that is how Senate Bill 1470 was born. So committee can be a very intensive part of passing the bill, but obviously we've talked about this before. It's already made it out of Senate committee. It just got voted in by the Senate. So We're all good on the Senate side. Now it goes over to the House to a House committee. So the House is a lot more rowdy. It's a lot bigger. It has a different energy than the Senate, whether that's on a state level or a national level. Um, But like I said, a committee can be a very intensive part about passing a bill. So I want to make sure you guys are along for this journey that you're understanding each piece of it. And at the end of all this, I hope you guys really feel like you have a better understanding of how our laws are made. And maybe one or two of you will go and get laws made of your own or make positive changes to the existing laws. Lord knows the world needs it. Onward and upward. Okay, guys. So first and foremost for today... Today is going to be a very chill, slow news day, but I wanted to discuss a tragic update in the next Benedict case. So the medical examiner's results came back this week, and the tragic update that I have to share with you guys is that next Benedict died by suicide. If you remember, Nex was the non-binary high school student who was beaten up in a school bathroom and died the following day. It had been widely assumed that Nex died of their injuries, but upon the medical examiner's findings, Nex had both allergy meds and antidepressants in their system, and ultimately, that is what killed them. I know that the medical examiner's offices do not rule suicide lightly, and especially in such a high-profile case such as this. Since Nex's death, though, students in the Owasso School District have been taking to the streets to protest what many students have proclaimed is a toxic culture of bullying within their schools. They are also bearing signs reminding LGBTQIA plus students that they are not only welcome, but celebrated. That said, we know suicide rates are much higher for that of trans or non-binary people compared to their cisgender counterparts. The medical journal The Lancet has done studies finding that the risk of a successful suicide for transgender people is twice as high as those of cisgender people. And in case you're new to this language, someone who is cisgendered is someone who feels that they fit simply into the categories of male or female. Many people in this world do not feel that way, and they deserve just as much love and acceptance and peace as the rest of us do. Many cultures around the world have actually celebrated gay, trans, and non-binary people going back millennia. We see gay couples in the animal world, and honestly, nothing could be more natural than loving who you genuinely love and being who you genuinely are. President Biden put out the following statement in the wake of the announcement about next, quote, for immediate release, statement from the president, Joe Biden, on next Benedict. Jill and I are heartbroken by the recent loss of next Benedict. Every young person deserves to have the fundamental right and freedom to be who they are and feel safe and supported at school and in their communities. Next, Benedict, a kid who just wanted to be accepted, should still be here with us today. Non-binary and transgender people are some of the bravest Americans I know. But nobody should have to be brave to just be themselves. In memory of next, we must all recommit to our work to end discrimination and address the suicide crisis impacting too many non-binary and transgender children. Bullying is hurtful and cruel, and nobody should face the bullying that next did. Parents and schools must take reports of bullying seriously. My prayers are with Nex's family, friends, and all who loved them. And to all LGBTQI plus Americans for whom this tragedy feels so personal, know this, I will always have your back. To the LGBTQI plus young people across the country, you are loved exactly as you are. 
If you're feeling overwhelmed or alone, know that you can call or text 988, the National Crisis Hotline, and dial the number three to talk to a counselor who has been specifically trained to support LGBTQI plus youth, end quote. And genuinely, you guys, please never be afraid to use that number. It's there for a reason. Because lots of people struggle with their mental health, whether that's postpartum or, you know, just plain old depression for absolutely no reason, or if it's for an emotional crisis due to being LGBTQIA+. This resource is life-saving, so never hesitate to call 988 or provide that number to someone who needs it. All right, you guys. So last up for this week, we are going to touch on Senator Chuck Schumer's urging elections in Israel. So as we've talked about before, Senator Chuck Schumer was the first Jewish majority leader in the Senate, and he is currently the highest ranking Jewish official here in America. He came out in a speech yesterday openly criticizing Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, and calling for an election in the country to replace Netanyahu. Specifically, in his 40-minute long speech, Chuck said that Netanyahu had quote-unquote lost his way. Schumer began by acknowledging that his name in Hebrew has originated from the word shomer, which means guardian. As the highest ranking Jewish official in America, he wants to try and live up to his namesake. He went on to say, quote, Palestinian civilians do not deserve to suffer for the sins of Hamas. And Israel has a moral obligation to do better. The United States has a moral obligation to do better, end quote. It will definitely be interesting to watch how this plays out and see if Schumer's very long and very impassioned speech makes any kind of a difference over in Israel. We will certainly keep you guys posted. And that for this week is the news du jour. Today, I wanted to leave you guys with the quote, if someone is waving a red flag, they're doing you a favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on whatever podcast platform you use to listen. A rate and review on that platform or a shout out on social media would mean the world to us and help us to be able to keep creating the news du jour and reach more people who need a calmer space to consume the news. But the best way to support all of our work is to become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash sugar free media and that is also linked in our show notes you can follow us on social media at news du jour dot podcast on both instagram and tiktok you can follow my personal account at it's annie bowls on both platforms as well any little noises you may hear in the background are my rescue pup he has a little separation anxiety and always records with me We appreciate you listening and look forward to telling you about the news again next time on News Du Jour. Broadcasting from... Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home.